The Senate bill is now in a House committee, and if no changes are made, the bill has a good shot to quickly land on the governor's desk. Now, although changes were made, the Hogan administration believes it's a good first step. The Maryland legislature isn't immune to growing concerns about violent crime and what to do about it. The problem is recognizing the source of that crime and passing legislation that will make a difference. Good morning, everyone. Governor Hogan says his Judicial Transparency Act would address concerns about the sentencing of violent criminals. It requires a state commission to make public every sentence a judge gives to violent criminals. But the Senate dramatically changed the governor's proposal. Instead of naming each judge, sentences will be listed by jurisdiction. The new version is now before a House committee. And the Hogan administration is okay with that. I think this is the, you know, the first step in the right direction towards bringing additional transparency towards the judiciary. The Hogan administration views the bill as an opportunity to look at sentencing trends. Members of the House Judiciary seem to be on board. I think whether or not it's by individual judge or whether it's cumulative, I think what people want to see is if people are getting convicted of this particular offense in this particular jurisdiction, is there a real difference between jurisdictions? And I think that making that information cumulative certainly uh, would be helpful to, to figuring that out. The legislation would require sentences handed out in local jurisdictions to be made public. It would also show whether the sentence falls within sentencing guidelines and makes public whether any prison time was suspended. Given the historic rise in violent crime in the state, we need to take an all-hands-on-deck approach and look at all aspects of the criminal justice system. The information will be available on a yearly basis through a public dashboard. The law would take effect in October. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.